Hi everyone, in this video we have to graph the function g of x equals log base 5 of x plus 3. So whenever we're graphing a log function, you first want to think about like the core function or the base function. So what I mean by that is you want to think about just the graph of log x. So the graph of log always has a vertical asymptote x equals 0. That's your vertical asymptote. And the graph itself always looks like this, and it passes through 1. Now, there are some variations on this graph, um, so let me correct myself. It will look like this as long as the base is bigger than 1, which it will be most of the time, so it's always increasing. So that's the graph of log. So now we have to think about what's happening to this graph of log. Well, we're adding 5 to the x, uh, sorry, 3 to the x. So when you add 3 to the x, you're going to shift left 3, right? It's backwards. So when you add to the x, you think it's right, but no, no, it's left. So we're taking this entire picture over here, and we're shifting it to the left by 3. So I'll redraw the y-axis, redraw the x-axis, so x, y. And so your vertical asymptote is going to be over here, 1, 2, 3. And then you'll notice your graph right here, it's always 1 over. This is also 1. So it's a, dis it's a distance of 1. So it's always 1 over. And then it looks like that. Now we don't need, I, I don't think we need this much detail in Math Lab. Now we just have to actually type it into Math Lab. So let's try it. So if you click, click to enlarge graph, let's try that. And I guess we have to click the log tools. That's going to be this one here. Make sure the solid, lo whoops, not, not this one here, <laughs> logarithmic tool, there it is. And then there we have the solid line, so I'm going to click that. And then I think I can just click anywhere. I'm going to try it. Yep. Okay, so we're going to the left three. That's a horizontal shift, because when you go left and right, it's horizontal. If you go up and down, it's vertical. So left three, I think we have to enter a negative three here. Let's try that. I'm going to click this little X and it didn't quite work. So let me try it again. What if I click um, hmm, save? Yeah, there it goes. So I had to click save to get it to work. Okay, so I'm gonna go back now. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, now we have to have the asymptote. So I'm gonna click the dotted line and the line tool. And the asymptote is at negative three, so right there. So I'm gonna click there. And then if I move my mouse, it does that. So there we go. There's our vertical asymptote. So it's a little clunky. You saw that I had to click save uh, for everything to work. So just play with it until you get it. Save, check answer, good stuff. What is the vertical asymptote of g of x? Well, that should be x equals negative 3, right? Because we went to the left 3. And it's always x equals for vertical lines. So x equals negative 3. Let's try it. Good stuff. What is the domain? So the domain is going to start at negative 3. So it's going to be negative 3 to infinity. It's all the x's. And we want to use a parentheses at the negative 3 because there's a dotted line. So it doesn't actually include the negative 3. OK, so it should be negative 3 to infinity. Good job. And the range is always going to be all real numbers. I know it looks like it's going to stop going up, but the logarithmic function goes up really, really slowly. So it's going to be negative infinity to infinity from the bottom up. So it'll be negative infinity to infinity. Let's try it. Yep, and that's it. So um, I hope that helped.